Hi guys, welcome back to season two of Balancing the Bars. <laughs> we're back like we never left. <laughs> we're back and we're better. We have new topics to discuss and of course you're going to be learning and growing with us as we go along. I am joined by my co-hosts, Jamisa McCallumon and Ariane Dahlia Richmond. I know that you guys would have missed us. <laughs> so I think we have a lot of They were in our too. inbox. Most so definitely. <laughs> when are it's you coming back? It's supposed to be next season. We're not coming back. What's going on? What's going on? But we're here now, and we're hoping that you guys show us the same love and share and like and comment just as much and even more than you did in season one. So, girls, given that we were away for so long, where do we start? <laughs> what did we, or what do we need to update the people on? What's been happening in your lives? <laughs> you in my business? Don't, Don't do, do that. that. <laughs> no, but honestly, if we have been away for a while. And I think, like, when you look at other talk shows or podcasts, like, you know, you take a short hiatus and then you just bounce right back. But that has not been the case for us. Mm-hmm. And I believe that in our individual lives, a lot has been happening. Mm-hmm. Um, for me, we we can we can have this conversation really focusing on the bars. I can tell you what has been happening business wise, arts, relationships, social issues that y'all in my business. Um, for me, um, I had to take the bold step of, or even not taking the step of learning how to, when to let go, and that is letting go for in my business life, relational life, just learning how to let go and, um. I let go of my job, you know, just to um, finally start my, or not to start, but to really give my business the time and the attention that it really needs to get it to where I want it to be. I remember a few years ago when I had just returned from Trinidad and I was figuring out what I want to do, whether UG or whatnot. And I saw this poem by this guy, E. Something his name is a really amazing spoken word poet, and he did this stuff on education. And he was like, A lot of people we spend time working to build other people's dreams mm-hmm. instead of building ours. And I ran with that. I, I didn't even want to go to UG. Mm-hmm. I was like, I don't want to go to UG and just regurgitate what is being taught, and then you know, and I don't want to work for people. And I've always had a problem, honestly, of working. A nine to five. You know if you're gonna be a business person. Or you you not. just you know, know it. You know. To the point where I remember I took a job and it went a wire, and my mom was like, "You know you can't work for people. You know <laughs> I don't know who sent you that. Like, I just wanted a really new experience." And she's like, "You look yeah. for the mm-hmm. because you know she already realized what was for me Spoiling. and." But, But it has been a really amazing journey getting into my business and just nurturing it, like breastfeeding it. I mean, Anamak Media. Yes, Anamak Media and Entertainment Network. It's it's the umbrella for this podcast here, like the baby of 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 the company. And you know, it it has been a beautiful journey. Just as I said, breastfeeding it. Yeah, Yeah, definitely. And taking all of the knowledge that I've learned over the last eight years or so in media. I remember uh, a few months ago, like someone was reading my bio. And my friend was like, why are you about lying in the media? <laughs> you know, so it's, it's beautiful. And I'm, I'm enjoying it. Waking up when I want to and, um, you know, going While to bed when I want to. I can't to. relate to the waking up and going to bed when I want to. Um, I think the most important lesson that I had to learn was just trusting the process. Mm. Um, I, too, had to let go of my previous job, and I think I'm now in a position of where I am sure about what I want to do career-wise, and in, and I am in a space where I think I can actually grow and hone in on the skills that I do have. So I am happy that I took that leap of faith. Trust me, when you're receiving a message from the creator take it i saw the job posting on linkedin and i passed it and i was like man that's not for me i don't have the qualifications for it and then jimisi actually screenshotted it and sent it to me and i was like you know what let me just apply and my mother said something to me she was like every january or february something new always happens for you and that's the truth i think for me i had to learn how to just trust the process and to be patient with myself and to be patient with mm-hmm. the situations that I'm placed in so that I could learn the necessary lessons. 
I think that was the biggest update of my life. Oh, I also graduated UG. Finally Ooh. done, dusted, and hallelujah. <laughs> no, like that's such a huge achievement. And if I can talk about that before we get to you, yeah, Dahlia. Um, we've seen a lot of persons trying to downplay persons, people's achievements. Mm -hmm. And I was like, what the heck? Um, that I am so so proud of you, and there are persons in 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 African different parts of the world who are dying for an opportunity to even go to school, not even university, but just nursery school, primary school. And here we are trying to downplay people's achievements. I was like, you know, y'all gonna pick up a book or something, mm -hmm. man. Like, congrats We're to you. We're not love. doing that. We're not doing that. <laughs> no, no not. But that experience with me though, because my time at UJ, I only did my associates in computer science because I started it just to see if I would like it or if that's the direction that I wanted to go in. And computer science ultimately is the base of what I do currently. But I'm more of a marketing and creative person. So my goal was just to finish my associates and keep it pushing. And I'm happy to be done with that phase. Trust and believe. And regardless of the fact that if I graduated with a pass or a distinction, you know what? I am done. You cross, <laughs> finish you cross it, the finish line. And I cross the finish line. And I think that's important for a lot of us to understand too. Regardless of where you are, tap yourself on the shoulder, tap yourself on the back to know that you started and you finished what you started. Because a lot of people, A, don't have the opportunity or resources to finish what they started or even have the opportunity or resources to start to begin with. Yeah. yeah, so once you get the opportunity, just make the best out of it and finish what you start and learn and grow from the experience. Following your mind is a real thing and it's a big man in this life. Mm -hmm. And that is definitely what I did. I was really wrapped up when we started the first season. I was wrapped up um, writing for a company, one of the biggest production companies right now. We all watch the TV, um, buy their internet. So writing for them, you know, throwing out your belly and then realizing that you're putting yourself on a backbench kind of itation. And that's definitely not what I wanted to do. So in February, I opened my first store and I feel so damn good to say you know what? Listen, I love, listen, how, listen, I love how she said first. Yeah. That's yes. the manifestation. Empire yes. state of mind. Yes. You know. Serious note, and it's crazy, but I think being crazy is a good thing. Mm -hmm. But a little bit before the opening, um, I was thinking, hey, I distribute products to the hinterland. Where is my next store going to be? Even before my opening, so I was thinking that. So before selling skincare products and makeup, it's hard to do online. I've been doing that for the past four years. And the way that I kind of cut through to my market was trying it myself. So it's easier. So when you come, you can say, okay, well, your skin is all in mine too. I think I'll take that thing that you tried. But now it's so much different. People come and sit down to do their facials and their makeup. And it's, it's just like, okay, this is mine. I turn my key. I'm like, yeah, this <laughs> is mine. And of course, not satisfied because I'm, I'm even more hungry now than I was before. And I, I think that this is why they don't want you to own your own business. Because when you dive in, I from then, I legitimately changed my entire accounting system. Started taking an accounting class. Finally taking my... <coughs> My UG, seriously, because mm -hmm. law is a jealous mistress indeed. And I mean, I'm there in the business, so I don't have an employee as yet gearing up for that. Mm -hmm. I'm packing, I'm sending out deliveries, I'm there with the in-store customers, I'm taking the bookings and fulfilling them and everything. So it, it's it's so large. I, I, I vibe with it, mm -hmm. definitely. So you girls shared what you've been up to, I guess, in the midst of, in the midst of the pandemic, Pandemic, panoramic, planoramic, whatever <laughs> we want to call it. What has been your your biggest lesson, the biggest lesson that you would have learned during the entire process of being a learned trusting the process? But I mean, what have what has been your What's biggest, the biggest thing? Yeah. Being patient. Mm. I have a way of wanting things to happen when I want them to happen. Mm -hmm. And I believe that the creator he has a very, um, he has a sense of humor. Very so, coy. Yeah. <laughs> so he's like, <laughs> okay, you don't want coy. to be patient? I'm going to make you patient. <laughs> so I think patience is one of the most important things. And not just patience with what's going on outside of me, but patience internally as well. Mm. Because that part. I am on a journey of doing a lot of self-work and trying to figure out who I am a bit more and what I want and what I need. So 
Patience. You know I love to dig deeper, right? So what? She's what? in my business. I'm going to do it. <laughs> She's in I'm my do business. It. What is it that, or one of the many things that you had to learn how to be patient about? My journey at UG, um, I have a fear of failure. And I failed two of my courses at UG, and I had to do an extra year to finish them. That was because I was, at one point, going to UG, I was working two jobs, and then I had another job yes. that was very demanding because it was for a marketing company. I needed to be up literally all hours of the night, and I wasn't being able to focus on just one thing, so it kind of distracted me for a bit, and I kind of got knocked off track, but I had to do an additional year, and then after that year was up, COVID happened. So it was like, oh gosh, Everything I want, switched. I want my graduation, the certificate to say a certain year so that I don't feel like I failed even more. But that has really taught me that I'm not in control and everything happens for a reason because at the end of the day, I'm still graduating and I'm still moving on to the next step of finishing my bachelor's, of course, in another field. And then I still want to do my master's. But the main thing is I got the foundation that I needed and I did it. So I feel like that is what taught me the most patient patience. Yeah. I like you're you're speaking and I'm smiling because the lessons were quite similar for me. Mm -hmm. Um patience, um not um like seeing everything that I don't succeed at at a certain time as a failure. And I uh, talk about not succeeding at a certain time. I think time was a big man for me, mm -hmm. knowing that God's timing is it. Mm -hmm. And I can give a very humbling experience. I remember last year during COVID, w there was this competition, this poetry spoken word competition that I came across. Um, and it focused on trafficking in persons. And I wrote the piece. I thought it was the bomb, whatever. I submitted it. And I wasn't even shortlisted. Mm -hmm. I, I kept checking the page to see, well, you know, this thing don't pass. <laughs> no, yeah. like this, this thing you. already passed. Like, you know, <laughs> I ain't got no message saying even it was received anything. Mm -hmm. And then I went in the page and I saw like the shortlisted applicants. And I was like, and I checked their pieces and I was like, well, I found solace in, in, in the fact that mm, maybe it wasn't what they were looking for or the style of poetry wasn't what they were looking for. And, you know, I just, I just let it ride, like, on to the next. And then a few weeks ago, one of my colleagues, they called me, like, after 10 in the night, after 10, and they were like, Jamisia, hey, I just got this call about something, and I'm calling you as soon as I receive the information. I have to the group has to perform at this function and we have to put together a piece. And they were like, um, so I need you to write this piece on trafficking in persons. I was Crazy. like, bro, I already have a piece laying down waiting to be used whenever the opportunity pops up. He's like, you serious? I was like, bro, I am serious. It's finished, it's done. Mm -hmm. She's like, okay, you'll do it for me, right? I was like, yeah, you know, cause <laughs> they were there for me reciprocity is key mm -hmm. so now we went we had to do grand rehearsal or whatnot perform it for the the people and then he was like um we're performing under the trafficking in persons group which is a, a body establishing it i was like are you serious i was like you know these are the same people who rejected oh, me right? yeah. <laughs> i was like are you What's serious <laughs> And then it so happened that at the at the at the um the function, I was asked to perform it for the minister and the president, like right in front of them. And when it was finished, I was like, "God, you're a funny big man, you know, <laughs> a funny big man." So for me, just being able to really trust the process and understand that God's delay is really not His denial, mm -hmm. and that has been. Because I can be a very impatient person. Mm -hmm. Very, very impatient. And that was just like, okay, trust the process. Just trust my timing. And, and I got you. I got you. So, yeah, that, that has definitely been my biggest lesson learned mm -hmm. during this whole planoramic. Planoramic. <laughs> Plunge in. I think that we spend so much time overthinking and really just overanalyzing 
facts without plunging in. Mm -hmm. In the morning, I plunge into my day. You know why? If I'm going to lay there and allow my mind to do its thing, whatever I am pushing into this bad boy here is going to multiply. Mm -hmm. And it's going to look for those things in, in everything. So I say to myself, literally, three, two, one, go, get up. Whether or not I had a long night, I had a restful night, I still feel like I ain't sleeping enough, whatever it is. And I think plunging in, I really apply it to any part of my life. I know that I have a current paper. I'm like, listen, we're doing this, we're doing this now, mm -hmm. we're doing it now. And you want to legitimately take a 15 minutes nap, okay, we're going to do it now. You know why? Because your body knows what it needs. Your mind knows what it wants. You know what your dreams are. Mm -hmm. You know that passion that's burning inside of you. So why not plunge in? Mm -hmm. And look at how things are orchestrated by the bigger heads. They decide that there is a pandemic, then there is a pandemic. They decide different things. So now you now use your power that you have over your life without looking at the external factors. And you plunge in because you do what you can. And if you start doing what you can, it expands mm -hmm. and things go places. Mm -hmm. our, our, our natural inclination is to connect as human beings. So if we start calling this energy towards us and we do what we want, why don't you think that that'll follow us? That was my biggest thing. Most definitely. Ariana's preaching to us today. She is definitely <laughs> preaching to us. But I feel like it's important, um, besides just plunging in, because for some people that might be easier said than done. Mm -hmm. Always is. You <laughs> have to you have to put yourself in the mental state to be able to do so. And you also have to just trust have trust in yourself and your decisions and have trust in the creator that you believe in to know that you are divinely guided regardless of where you are and what you're experiencing there is always an opportunity to learn and grow always an opportunity to learn and grow and that's definitely what this podcast this platform is about learning and learning relearning and growing and with that i want to ask the question what are you girls looking forward to for this season what topic are you looking forward to having us cover um just touch all the bases i'm looking forward to all of the very interesting guests that we have mm -hmm. for season two we are going to be able to pick minds for a bit and even Look at the new versions of ourselves. Mm -hmm. So there's not the same regular regular girls you get from season one. All right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know why I like that version accent. <laughs> we continuously grow. We change as human beings. And not to highlight that change is a complete injustice. Mm -hmm. And we have so many people, international models and lawyers. It's going to be a fiesta up in here. Definitely. Definitely. And do you see this brand new studio though? <laughs> Definitely. Okay. Thank you for highlighting it. Thank you for highlighting it. Like <laughs> We're in a new space, a comfy space. And um, I think it's important to not wait until we reach at the end of the journey to say thank you, but at the beginning to say thank you to the persons who made this this season possible, you know? Um, can we can we call? Can we call go ahead, one time? Go ahead. Go thank ahead. you to Digicel Guyana <laughs> and thank you to um award winning yeah yeah artists yeah, yeah um gospel artists Up in the we're, house. we're not we're not going to edit that out thank you so much to a brother and friend i think i'm your friend right <laughs> <laughs> samuel madas for even um just allowing us into your space to um continue this project and something that i think is very much needed and to have the conversations that we are having and that we will be having so at the beginning of the journey, we're saying thank you. Yeah, I mean, give you your roses while you're here. I'm also very, very thankful to have met you, young woman. I'm thankful to Abina for sticking her neck out and trusting and believing in us. You know, networking is a vital part of a young person's growth. Anna Mac Media for doing her thing and stepping out and always making sure that she anchors us. And myself. For just being goofy. I like that. <laughs> I like that about me. I'm thankful for that. Yeah. She brings the laughter. <laughs> so um, I, I'm looking forward, as always, to the conversations. I feel like they're, they're always so enlightening and thought-provoking. And as you said, the guests that we'll be having on this platform... Things you didn't know, you needed to so know. No, exactly. <laughs> Y'all ain't ready for the sauce. Y'all ain't ready for the knowledge, the gems that are about to be dropped. But I'm telling you to get 
ready. Girls. It tastes better than Ichiraku ramen if you're a Naruto fan. What yes. did you say? It tastes better than Ichiraku ramen if you're a Naruto fan. I'm sure a lot of people might be able to relate to that. Yes, no <laughs> doubt, no doubt. <laughs> Girls, I'm looking forward to this journey with you all. And thank you for being so candid about um, your, your, your last few months. Listen, I often have to pull from them like, you know, give me more. Give me, <laughs> give me more. <laughs> so, you know, I mean, I, I, I feel like I'm the one that loved to tell my business. <laughs> but I'm, I'm, trying to, I'm, tr I'm trying with them and I'm excited as always to be on this journey with you all and um this season is about to be lady like a city <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much for joining us on this first episode and um remember to like share subscribe um follow us on the go loud app and you can also find us on Playgo now as well. So thank you guys so much for, for listening and for viewing. Girls, it's about to be a lit season. Yeah, yes, keep it, it safe, keep it positive, and be good to yourself. Most definitely. We can't wait to see you. Continue to be safe, guys. Honestly, continue to be safe. The pandemic is not yet over. Wear your mask, sanitize, re maintain physical distance and social distance. And protect your mental health. Protect your mental no, health. Alone. Yeah. So, guys, until next time, we're your hosts, Jimmy C. McCowan, <laughs> Avina Gomes, and Arian Dahlia Richmond. Thank you for listening and watching this episode of Balancing the Bars, where balance, balance brings, brings peace. peace. Bye.